Hi folks, Peter here, and I have finally received some answers back to my list of questions that I had sent over to Shopify POS. And the following are answers to the questions I collected from our QuickBooks POS Facebook group. These questions are in a random order, and if you would like to have more, uh, I guess, specific questions answered by a Shopify POS expert, well, please go ahead and click on the link in the description, you can get your questions answered specifically for yourself. Uh, question, can you point me to a guide or more information on how current QuickBooks POS hardware USB gets connected to Shopify POS? Answer, supported POS hardware can be found in our help docs. And if you're using Shopify payments for credit card processing, you will need a Shopify payments device. One payment device will be provided for free as part of the offer to the QuickBooks POS users who adopt Shopify payments. Question. Customers would come to us uh, as a consultant, this is more for myself, because we were authorized to provide better deals and better pricing than straight from into it. And will Shopify POS allow better deals from dealers? If not, then why would they come to us for making their purchase? Answer, we currently don't have a wholesale model for partners at Shopify. And then they proceeded to ask for further clarification of what kind of deals we were able to offer from QuickBooks. And so I'll have to get back to them. Question, will we be able to set up different pricing for different customers? For example, in QuickBooks POS, I have three price levels for customers, retail, wholesale, and distributors. Will Shopify POS have this ability? Answer, yes, there are a few ways to accomplish this depending on the types of discounts being offered. Question, can we create a discount in the Shopify admin, either a discount code or an automatic discount, which can then apply uh, on Shopify POS? Answer, using a third-party app, you can set up more complex discounting rules, which can then apply on Shopify POS. Example apps for this would be uh, ultimate special offers or stackable discounts. Question, does Shopify POS have the capabilities to enter POs and receiving vouchers? And the answer, this is done using our first party inventory management app, which is called Stocky. And this is used quite a bit with the POS. Uh, question, are you aware if there is a way to set up a customer as a business on a charge account and have everything track properly? It appears to be very focused on an individual customer and not businesses. Answer, the best way to replicate the QuickBooks POS on account functionality is to create an order on your Shopify POS and then mark it as unpaid which is a payment option during checkout. Payment for these orders can then be collected at a later date using Shopify POS or actually emailing the invoice to the customer, which can then be paid for online. Additionally, Shopify Plus has B2B functionality that can help merchants grow their wholesale business online. Question, what about QuickBooks POS gift cards through GiveX with outstanding customer amounts. And then the answer, uh, QuickBooks POS gift card migration to Shopify is currently being worked on. So that's good. Uh, question, how does Shopify hold up in a grocery store environment? Uh, we got weighted barcodes and scales, etc. Answer, Shopify POS is not the best solution for a grocery store environment. There are apps in the App Store that do allow for scales, but it is still not a recommended solution for a full-on grocery store environment. Then question, 
Can a Bluetooth barcode scanner and Bluetooth receipt printer be connected at the same time? Answer, yes, multiple Bluetooth devices will work concurrently. Question, I never found a good way to do units of measure that Webgility could actually sync with Shopify, and I just gave up. We bypassed it by creating TCG boxes, not really sure what that is, for Shopify inventory only. Uh, do folks have input on how well Shopify can handle units of measure or apps possibly that can handle it? Answer, Shopify POS is not the best solution for merchants selling products in units of measure. There are some applications that can help with this, but it may not be a suitable solution for a business that relies primarily on selling goods in this manner. Question. I have ignored many items in Webgility as they are marked for brick and mortar selling only, and obviously uh, I'm going to need to input them now into Shopify POS, so is there a recommendation on how to do that best? I don't want to wipe my website inventory already currently. I don't want to wipe that out and start over as we made edits to a lot of the items, uh, but not in our POS, uh, only online. Answer, we would need to understand uh, this company's current situation stack to recommend the best migration path, assuming they are using QuickBooks POS, but what are they using for e-commerce and what is connected into Webgility? Uh, if you would like to ask, so it's kind of custom, but if you'd like to ask Shopify expert about your own special situation personally, be sure to click on the link in the description on this video and we can get specific situations answered, definitely. Question, does Shopify POS have a rewards program and how robust is it? Or is it another paid app? We use QuickBooks POS rewards program, but it's pretty limited. Answer, Shopify POS does not have a native loyalty and rewards program. We do, however, have several options in our app store with advanced functionality. Be sure to check them out by going and searching in the app marketplace. Question, how does Shopify POS handle gift certificates versus the website? Will there be options for physical cards, either purchasing or something we can produce ourselves? Answer, the Shopify platform, both POS and online, work with both physical and digital gift cards. Physical gift cards can be custom designed and ordered from the Shopify POS hardware store area online, while digital gift cards are actually just produced and sent to the customer via an email which contains the gift card number and a QR code. That's pretty cool. Question, is there a size limitation to the database? Answer, on the Shopify side, uh, there's really no practical limitation to the inventory, customer, the sales orders, etc. It's kind of like unlimited. Question, how well does Shopify POS integrate with QuickBooks Online and will it transfer end of day and receiving information? And does this require an additional sync and is there a cost to it? Answer, Customers would have to evaluate the third-party applications that integrate with our data in QuickBooks on and in QuickBooks Online. And on a personal note from Peter here, uh, I am planning to reach out to some of the vendors in the marketplace because there's several that sync to QuickBooks Online and maybe do reviews on their different QuickBooks Online sync products. So look forward to that. Question. Are there apps you are looking at that you consider necessary to make Shopify POS function well? Answer, yes. Uh, well, Shopify has an extensive app ecosystem and the apps would be recommended totally based on your own unique business needs or objectives. And I guess this is one nice thing about Shopify POS. Instead of needing to have all of the different bells and whistles and for every situation under the sun right out of the box, there's actually different 
types of, well, the different types of interest industries can use different add-on apps for certain situations that totally just fit them perfectly and well. So that's good. Question, can I output a sales report based on department with the categories I need? And then the customer went kind of on to name all kinds of specific information and, and columns and things they wanted. And the answer was actually that this can be created as a report through the Shopify analytics or by exporting orders to a CSV file. Uh, there's a little more malleability there. Question, is there a free trial version of POS Pro that I could investigate? And the answer is yes. Shopify POS Pro is the default free trial prior to the purchase. So from that expert. Question, what hardware will I need to purchase? We are currently using all-in-one PCs for our cash register, and I believe I need tablets for that at a minimum. And what are the recommendations for that? How about your stands for them? And what about credit card processing? So a lot of questions here. The answer is uh, the recommended hardware can easily be found at the Shopify website. And me personally, I have forthcoming videos on the recommended regular retail components. So look forward to that. I will also have links soon for purchasing the hardware pieces through BlackRock. If you'd like to do that, we'd appreciate it. Uh, if you're using Shopify payments for credit card processing, uh, you will need a Shopify payments device. And actually, one payment device will be provided for free as part of the offer to the QuickBooks POS users who adopt Shopify payments. And this is much like the free pin pads that were previously received through Intuit, except, <laughs> except they'll work much, much better. <laughs> I promise. Uh, I would probably recommend some of the newer iPads for register terminals, and I'm going to give a rundown on that. And I have some cool stuff to share in videos about how that works with the iPad and the stand, and it's really cool, some portability stuff. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for tuning in to today's edition of Getting Your Qu Questions Answered about Shopify POS. And like I said, if you care to get some of your own questions answered about your particular situation. Well, go ahead and, and click on the link down in the description so you can speak to a Shopify POS expert directly. And thank you, folks. I hope you have a very excellent day. Yeah.